this is actually something pretty cool that most people don't know about in me. So if I'm in a meeting on the bottom right hand corner, I can hit the uh, meeting and host controls here and I can switch on this feature called host management. And that puts it in like webinar mode basically. And so I've got the ability to dictate do I want to lock down people sharing their screen? Do I want to lock down people sending chats or sending reactions? Do I want to stop people from unmuting themselves? And if I was to do that, if I had other participants in that meeting, what I would have to do is I would have to find their name and specifically say, okay, I'm going to add this person as a co-host and then they can unmute. So it gives you all these extra, all these extra options for other people that are in the meeting. You can stop people from switching on their video. That's interesting. Host must join before everyone else. That's another really useful feature if you're running webinars. Attendance tracking. It'll tell you who was on the meeting at the end of the meeting, how long they stayed on the meeting. So yeah, lots of different options there. And because we've switched that on for our meeting, I need to give you permission to annotate. But I've got a feeling that for an internal meeting, anyone can annotate by default. All right, let's do a fresh, I think I'll do a fresh meeting. And let's do a real quick test. All right, so I'm going to do a new meeting. I'll share something into this meeting. All right, so let's see. Add as co-annotator. There we go. Okay, so even without host controls added, Rhea, that's the solution. So you'll need to go to the participants, find the person, and then add as co-annotator. Now, I'm really curious if there's a way to automatically switch on co-annotation. I'm going to just have to Google that. Okay, can't automatically enable co-annotation. So I think just, yeah, you can just add as co-annotator. Can I do that for multiple people? Yes, okay. We can all annotate here at the same time. And maybe you guys can even, uh, I don't know, change your pen color or something. I guess the reason this would be off by default would be that Google wouldn't want to let someone draw on your presentation if you're presenting. Imagine you're doing a slideshow and someone else can just start drawing pictures on it for everyone. Google wouldn't want that. So, all right, I'll stop my screen share on this one. And so I'm just going to look here. Cool. So, okay, so I can't annotate by default, even though I'm the host. And so the person presenting has the control to add, add another person as the annotator, whether they're the host or not. In Zoom, the host is the only one who can do anything. In an internal meeting on Meet, pretty much everyone can do everything. Now, Christo will add me in as co-annotator. Cool. So I'm hoping you can add me as a co-annotator. Perfect. Yeah, great. There we go. So I've got, it. I've got it on my screen now, so I can now annotate. Okay, wonderful. Cool. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.